Hey guys, welcome back to the Big Oak Homestead. I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to be talking about how or the what products I'm going to use to try to ventilate my greenhouse. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos, you know that I am trying to do this on a very small budget. I do work full time. Homesteading is a a hobby. Uh, I'm trying to build it up more, learning as I go, but my funds that I have to do these different projects are very limited. So let me show you what I'm going to try that was within my budget to ventilate this greenhouse. Today it's only about, well today is December 28th. It's only about 66 degrees outside, but we're pushing 90 in the greenhouse. I'm in Northeast Florida at Zone 9A. It gets really hot here. I do plan on having some things growing in the greenhouse year round. I also need to keep the humidity down in here. Too much moisture could lead to fungus and mold problems and I don't want that taking out my seedlings or my other tropicals that I have growing in here. And guys, if you see me suddenly run out, it's because I have a group of honeybees in the greenhouse. I guess they're looking for food. I have a neighbor across the street that is a beekeeper. He has lots of hives and I welcome the pollinators but sometimes they're just a little too touchy. I don't think they understand that I don't have anything in here blooming to where they could get pollen from. Oh he's back! Hopefully he doesn't get too pissy with me and sting me. I'm not allergic to bee stings, but they do make me feel pretty sick for the remainder of the day. Okay, so the components that I'm using are an automotive radiator fan. This is a 12 volt, 80 watt, I believe that's 80 watt, I'll verify that and if it's wrong, I'll put it in the description below. This is a 1000 CFM automotive fan. I paid $20 for it. It's going to go on the front of the greenhouse and pull air out. The next component are my vents for the opposite side of the greenhouse. It's a six inch plastic dryer vent. You can see it has a six inch opening. It is louvered. With a 1000 CFM fan on the opposite end, it will create enough of a pull that it will open these louvers. I only have, I'm only installing one to begin with. I will see how the fan pulls with that, and if it needs another vent, I'll add the second one. The next component is the thermostat. I need something that will turn the fan off and on when we reach certain temperatures. I looked at several, they were pretty pricey, so I ended up going with an automotive thermostat. I believe this is just, the, it, this is the same kind that goes in a car. Uh, you can get them to where they come on and off with certain temperatures. So I got the one that comes on when it reaches 100 degrees and it shuts off when it reaches 80 degrees excuse me, 85 degrees. I have a feeling that that means that during the warmer months my fan is going to be running all day long. This fan is going to be initially supported by solar with a large automotive battery. I'm hoping that that will have enough, provide enough power to keep this fan running. It's going to be running all day long on some days. So we'll see. I'm also going to be running 110 power to the greenhouse this weekend as a backup just in case during the warmer months solar isn't enough to support the fan. But all in all I spent about $50 or $60 for the entire ventilation system for the greenhouse. I was hoping to stay under $100 so I stayed within my budget. The one component that you don't see is a 12 by 12 aluminum louvered cover so that this end of the fan is going to be pointing out this is going to be the part that's going in and the, the louvered cover will be on the front with the louvers facing down so that it just keeps any water from coming in, rainwater from coming in. I hope to have the video up soon that shows 
how I installed it. I'm not going to go through the step-by-step -step of installing it, just I'll show you how it looks after and how it performs, hopefully within a few days. So if you're looking for a inexpensive way to keep the air moving, to keep your greenhouse cooler, to keep the humidity down, stay tuned. I'll post a video that shows you guys how all this turned out. Thanks for watching.